He had wounds involving the forehead, both eyes, and the nose, and the right cheek. We're here to talk today about Mr. Ronald Popo, who you've all um, become familiar with in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, I'm very pleased to say that Mr. Popo is doing uh, very well today. I just left his room. Uh, we got his permission to talk to you all about his medical condition. Um, he's uh, pleased to report to all of you that he's uh, feeling well. He's uh, eating. He's walking around with physical therapy. He's talking with us. Uh, he's uh, had uh, quite a bit of surgery already by Dr. Kassira here to my right, and there's still quite a bit more to go. Uh, but he's, uh, he actually, uh, before I left the room today, he asked me if I'd be watching the game tonight, and he told me, go heat. <laughs> when Mr. Popo arrived, uh, clearly he had suffered very devastating injuries to his face. Um, he really couldn't make out his identity or what his facial features were before the trauma. And we did our best. Uh, with our team here and the trauma surgeons as well, managing him emergently and also the reconstructive aspects. Our primary goal at this point was to close his wounds and provide coverage of his wounds. But he will need multiple surgeries in the future for reconstruction. Um, but our main uh, objective at this point was to provide coverage and allow him to recover from the trauma um, and cope with what's happened to him before proceeding with more uh, extensive reconstructive surgeries. With the trauma, uh, the actual left lobe, the left eye, uh, was essentially uh, destroyed um, and required removal by the oculoplastics or the eye surgeons. The right eye actually is still there. We covered it with a flap uh, with the aid of oculoplastic surgeons. They also are on board to try to salvage the right eye. We're hoping in the future there may be some hope of some some kind of vision, but it's unclear at this point if he'll recover any vision. We're uh, actually treating an infection right now, but he's uh, he's doing very well. You know what? It, it's amazing. He's uh, he's an extremely uh, charming man. Uh, you talk to him; he's very upbeat. He's very pleasant. Uh, he hasn't he hasn't said one thing negative to me. Everything. Every time I ask him how he's doing, he says he's doing fine. And uh, I kid you not, he wanted to talk about the NBA Finals just, you know, 15 minutes ago. He actually did have a, uh, a brain injury uh, from the attack. Uh, he was seen by our neurosurgeons uh, on the first day and, and for uh, uh, several days after. He had several CAT scans of his brain. It, it was a sort of brain injury that didn't require an operation. Uh, <coughs> expected to make a full recovery from it. He, he, had, uh, he had an injury um, uh, to his left chest, um, but that's also resolved. Was that a puncture wound? There was. Could you tell what it was from? Well, there were, there were two holes um, uh, that, that uh, seemed to connect. Um, there was no foreign body left behind. Um, uh, it could have been a, an object. It could have been a bullet. Uh, I don't know, but there are two holes, and um, uh, they are those things are a non-issue now. He's fully recovered from that. 